happy Thanksgiving. So for the holiday season, I thought I'm gonna do something a little bit different this year than I've done before. Um, I don't vlog very often because, you know, my day in, day out routine during the week is the same thing. Go to work, come home, take care of Braden, put him to bed, kind of same thing every day during the week, um, <clears throat> unless I have something special going on. But for the most part, my weekends are full of fun things that we like to do together or running or racing or whatever. So from this weekend, which is Thanksgiving weekend, until the end of December, I have thought that I would kind of share um, a little with you guys about, you know, Braden's first Thanksgiving and the races I'm running and uh, everything that goes along with that. So I've decided I'm going to attempt to vlog the weekends until the end of December. So we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping I can promise this. I'm trying, um, but I don't know. We'll see because, you know, I do have a seven month old and things do get a little crazy sometimes around here. But anyway, it's Thanksgiving morning. Um, just had my parents over for cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna input a clip of me making those cinnamon rolls from last night all the way through. And then now I'm just getting prepared to go to our first official uh, Thanksgiving shindig, which is at Jason, my husband's mom's house. Um, my husband is working today, unfortunately, but he will be off tomorrow and the rest of the weekend. So we get to celebrate tonight with him and then tomorrow with my family. And we're going Black Friday shopping and we're having a Gilmore Girls party on Saturday for the reunion. So, you know, I have all kinds of fun, exciting things planned this weekend. I just thought it would be fun to share. So anyway, come along and I hope you enjoy um, sharing in Brayden's first Thanksgiving with us. I know this is such an exciting time for us, uh, especially now that we have our sweet little baby boy with us and he's so much fun. He's actually napping at the moment. But uh, anyway, yeah, so come along and enjoy the fun. So it's the night before Thanksgiving and I'm currently working on making these pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls. They are not vegan. Um, I edit this recipe a little bit. This is from oshiglows.com. I edit her recipe a little bit to make it to where they're not um, vegan. And no, I'm not making crack. This is uh, <laughs> from something I found on Pinterest. It's awesome. So that's one of the um, desserts I'm making for Thanksgiving also. But anyway, I thought I'd take you along on the process. Um, this is not easy and it is time consuming and I'm attempting to do it with a uh, seven month old so this should be fun but anyway you take the um, yeast first and sugar activates yeast you mix it with a little warm water and you set it aside for five minutes and let it rise a little bit and this has already rose or risen sorry um, about not half, maybe a little less than half from the, what it was originally. I also cut this recipe in half because it makes a lot. Um, I don't make them that large, so this makes more than eight for me. And then this is the ingredients for the um, dough. So that's what I'm gonna start with first. Also, you wanna make sure that your yeast is not uh, expired because I've accidentally done that before and gotten through the whole recipe and they never rose and it was a whole waste of time. So make sure you have new, good, active dry yeast. Say hi, Brayden. <gasps> hi. <laughs> the next step is to combine all of your ingredients from, for the dough, the wet ingredients on the stove, let it all kind of melt together and mix together. One ingredient I did leave out of the previous picture was the salt. Uh, that is definitely um, a necessity here. Also, for this recipe, like I said, this is vegan. I did change it up to make it non-vegan for myself. I've made it this way before, and then a couple years ago I decided to just start making it the non-vegan way. Um, so on here, I'll post a link to this um, recipe, but on here you'll see where it says like vegan butter. I just use regular stick of butter. Egg replacer, I just use one egg. There's another spot, I believe it's for the icing, where she used a vegan cream cheese. And I just use regular cream cheese. So, you know, you can edit and tweak it a little bit to your liking. And that's what I did. It's more exciting. Huh. Are you going to wiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, boy. That's Madeline, huh? Hi, Madeline. So now I'm ready to roll the dough and get these guys going. So the next step is spreading the uh, pumpkin pie mixture onto the dough and then sprinkling the cinnamon 
sugar and uh, pecan or walnut or whatever nut you choose to use uh, on top of it. And now I'm going to roll it and then cut it and I am almost done. See that's about the size that I make them. Um, about like that. Cut them and I lay them out in the pan sauce. Now I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and let them rise overnight. And then in the morning, take them out of the fridge, let them return to room temperature, and then cook them from there. They smell awesome. The smell of fresh bread is amazing and I love it. So I can't wait to eat these tomorrow. I'm so excited. So in the spirit of the turkey trot, I am wearing my turkey trot um, sweaty band from sweatybands.com. Um, I bought this a couple years ago because I was running an official turkey trot and didn't have something to wear. And then I also have my, let's see if you can see them. These were the ones from Gone, with, Gone for a Run, uh, the knee high socks that came with the package. And it says, run now, gobble later. So my friend Heather is on her way over. We are going to just run kind of around the neighborhood. Um, Braden is going to have to come with us because my husband is working today, sadly. But uh, it should be okay because he seems to like the jogging stroller. So we'll see how this goes. So we did four miles. Um, kind of kept running because Heather had to go home and make Thanksgiving dinner. And then we got our medals. And this little guy never made a peep the entire <clears throat> time we were running. He did so good. He just stayed bundled up and just chilled while we ran. Good job. Can you give me a high five? <gasps> high five. Yay! He's like, Mommy, you goo goo. After rising all night in the fridge, I pulled these out right before I went for my run, and they rose even a little bit more since then. So now I'm preheating the oven to 350, and these are going to cook for about 25 minutes, and my parents are going to be over here in about 45 minutes or so. So I think the timing will be perfect, and now I'm going to work on the icing. And they are done. I did have to cook them a little bit longer because like the middle ones didn't get cooked enough. And then obviously if you have some that are a little bit taller than the others, they will become a little bit more brown. But they smell delicious. I cannot wait. And here is all, sorry, here's all the coffee and goodies set out. And here is the cream cheese icing. This is delicious stuff. Now I'm just waiting on my parents. Raiden says, Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, and Pixie and Madeline, too. Look at that. Say hi. Happy Thanksgiving. I have not listen to breakfast with my parents. We had an awesome brunch with my parents, and now it's night time. I don't know if my brother actually sounds like a decent idea. I'm going to go take a nap for a second. Now I'm going to let Braden sleep just a little bit more while I dig through the sale papers. I'm so excited about Black Friday tomorrow. This is like my one of my favorite days of the year. Apart from Christmas, Black Friday, I love it. It's so much fun. At least I think it's so much fun. I know it's not for everybody, but I love it. I know I didn't show my medal really well earlier, but this is the Gone for a Run, Run Now, Gobble Later 5K medal. We turned it into a four-mile run. Um, this is a super nice. It's really heavy and very colorful. We really, uh, Heather and I, my running buddy, really, really liked them. Um, I did not receive this for free. I know I have in the past. I am a Gone for Run ambassador, but I did purchase this race out of pocket, and I am glad I did. I love the socks, and I love the metal that went with it. So, yeah, that was our medal from this morning. All right, I got Braden loaded up, have all the food loaded up, and I'm headed off to my in laws. Meal number one. So after a very full day of Thanksgiving at my in-laws, I left and went to my parents' house because my brother and sister-in-law were in town. We hung out with them for a little while. It was Braden's nap time. He fell asleep on the way there. Um, and then after that, I went back to my in-laws' house because my husband was off work at that point and we rode over there together. So it's been kind of a crazy day and now it's 9.30 and Braden's taking a bath, he's in bed. So I'm gonna go 
I'm gonna go meet my mom at stage. We kind of do this um, like every Thanksgiving we go somewhere. I don't necessarily agree with stores being open on Thanksgiving and so I guess I'm contributing to the problem. <laughs> but anyway, um, we are gonna go just, I don't know, hang out at stage and see what they have. It's just something we do. So um, after that, I'm coming home and I'm going to bed because we're starting at 5 a.m. for Black Friday shopping in the morning. Good morning and happy Black Friday. It's officially Black Friday shopping time. I am preparing some coffee for my um, people that I'm going Black Friday shopping with and then we are going to hit the road. It's about 5 a.m. and we're just ready to have a great morning filled with lots of shopping and hanging out with the friends and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's what's on tap for this morning. Look, Got my peoples! Here. Black Friday! Yay! Yay! Here we go, we're at Kohl's and we're about to go. There's not very many people here, so no. we should have some fun. Okay, bye. Hey, Kayla, what you got there? I got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> we help Kayla shop. Aren't you excited? We wrapped up at Kohl's. Woo, woo, woo! Good times. Yay! Good times. We racked up. A little Starbucks yeah, break here. Yeah. <laughs> Chestnut yeah. poly Probably mate. Okay. Amazing. I love it. This is like my eighth one this year. Well, we're having fun in the mall. Almost, I don't know. Where are we going next? Target? Target. Target. Yeah. <laughs> and a shoe. Because you just buy one boot. It was Black Friday shopping and it just kind of got off. She, she didn't sleep yet. <laughs> no. She hadn't been to bed. She no. Been to bed yet. She, been, she was in line at 6 o'clock. You know, whenever you're tired, you hitch a ride, apparently. No sleeping, body, body aching, aching, feet hurting, feet, hurt. feet hurting, Deliria walking, Black Friday experts. Very good, very good. I like it. You have no more room to put stuff in your car. Okay, now do y'all have buggy returns? Where are we? Yeah. Over there yonder. Over there yonder. Lunch at Nukes. Taking another break. So we officially finished our Black Friday shopping. I was able to get gifts for several people on my list, which is awesome. Now we're back home and we're going to head to my parents' house for our family Thanksgiving yeah. that we didn't get to do yesterday. We're going to do it tonight and yeah, it's just going to be a lot of fun. We're going to play some games, eat some good food, and I'm finally reunited with this little guy. I missed him so much. Thanksgiving round number two. Yum, yum, yum. Brayden gets mac and cheese. <laughs> Is it good? Must be. <laughs> Is it good? What'd you say? What's my biggest pet peeve? Like your biggest pet peeve? Hmm. That's a tough one. Yeah. Hmm. What annoys you? Uh. Oh my. <laughs> Are we good? Her gravestone. Okay. Did you pick All right. One? Yeah, okay. she's good. <laughs> What's Bobby doing? <laughs> we printed several quotes from what we found on Pinterest. 
We also have, of course, the no cell phone sign, the Luke Diner sign, Dragonfly Inn. Anyway, you just have some fun little signs. And then my friend also ordered these from Etsy. So that's really cute. We're gonna, of course, have a ton of coffee, pizza, Pop-Tarts, um, Twizzlers, because we don't like red vines. We prefer Twizzlers instead. Um, yeah, so it's just gonna be a fun little, little get together that we're gonna have. And I'm getting it all set up right now. There's Luke's Diner. And then we have Kayla. And this is the little Gilmore Mansion section. Figured the dressed up table would work for Gilmore's. This is just a few of the quotes that I printed. And on the front door. Oh, oh Brayden loves it when I open the door. Welcome to Stars Hollow. And then we were trying to make it snow, but you know it's Louisiana. So one of my favorite quotes is what she says about snow. And so I figured right above the Disney Village where it snowed works perfectly. And then there's just a few more on the TV, like Oi with the Poodles and Omnia Brightness, Copper Boom. Just a few more quotes. And that's pretty much. Oh, wait, one more. Our guest bathroom is. And guess what? It's the Dragonfly Inn. <laughs> so there you go. The dragonfly in. <laughs> Are y'all ready? Yay! This has been 10 years in the making, right? <laughs> yeah, 2007? 10. 7? Yeah. So, 9 years in the making? Mm -hmm. Bye! Here we go! Brayden's like, y'all are crazy. <laughs> Best movie ever, Brayden. That's Sorry. right. You're so Everybody's excited. Pizza time. So we finished the Year in a Life season one on Netflix with the Gilmore Girls. Um, needless to say, we were all incredibly shocked by how it ended. We read yesterday while we were out Black Friday shopping that it ended with four words, and so we all kept trying to guess what those four words were. Some of us were close, but definitely did not come up with that ending. So we were all like, shocked and freaking out about <laughs> the way it ended. We're excited to see season two and what they come up with for the next, um, I guess, four episodes. Anyway, as soon as it was over, we jumped into my husband's truck and now we're headed to his parents' house for my husband's birthday celebration. His birthday is Monday, so we're having their little birthday dinner tonight. And yeah, that's where we're headed. Got Brayden and my husband and we're on our way. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jason. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> How about that? Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this weekend. We had a ton of fun. I really enjoyed sharing our um, Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Gilmore Girls party with you guys. Um, we just had a lot of fun, and I am exhausted. I feel like I could just completely collapse right now so I'm gonna lay down and go to sleep uh, so anyway stay tuned next weekend hopefully um, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys and we'll see how it goes so yeah have a great week and I will see you guys next week happy Thanksgiving